Like, he was trying to change the world. Same with a lot of artists, but we would just listen to it as entertainment purchase. Yeah, instead of what he was, his message. His message was more powerful than just dancing to or entertainment, which dancing is a good way to release and to free your mind and free your spirit. But if we were, what he was really saying, his lyrics in the song were preaching humanity and peace and loving one another and building with one another, regardless of who you are, where you're from, or your nationality, or your race, or your class, whatever. It didn't matter to him. Or what he preached, it didn't matter, which that would end all hatred and a lot of financial situations that people are in and the problem with black people and the syndromes that we have that cripple ourselves as a people. It, it, loving one another at first would be the first step and then learning to step outside of our comfort zones and doing things differently that we're not, we don't think we're accustomed to or we can't do or that we don't have the power to. We're, we're, we're the most powerful people on the planet. Yes, I I wasn't aware of it. And when I was in Africa, mm -hmm. they have always taught us uh, the white man. Right. The supreme and the superior. And, right. And it was until um, I came here and I went to college. Yeah. I went to UCLA. I started to learn about myself. Right. About my people. And I realized the common man. Actually, we ruled the world. We, we were the world, yeah. And we were the first people. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, we were the first people. And, and, and our knowledge influenced the world. The knowledge that we gave to the Europeans and, and a lot of different other cultures. We, we, were, we were the first the first race, the first beings, you know? I mean, I was... I mean, I, I weep for weeks when I realize, when I noticed it, when I realized it's true about myself. It, it hurts because we were lied to so long. You know, me as an American growing up here, and what I learned in school and in history and, and classes that I had to pass was all lies. I just found out the truth myself living here for 31 years. I'm uh, 31 years on this earth. I'm 31 years old, but I'm just finding out my real you know what I mean, being as a black man about five or six years ago, you know what I mean? And everybody doesn't have that third eye or have that that knowledge, you know what I mean? Enlightenment. That enlightenment. And and once you find out, you, 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 you're stronger and, and you think differently and you, and you can move differently and understand differently. And, and that's, that's an amazing feeling. And it's hard to stop that but we all need to listen to each other. We still have the mentality as a people that we bring each other down or we want what somebody else has or we'll take from each other, kill each other to get whatever. And it, it could be a lot a lot simpler and, and, and easy if we just started with love. And it all goes back to love and spreading it and showing it and everything else will fall into place, you know? And it's that simple. And we will get more enlightenment and, and listen to one another when we come with loving open arms and, and that kind of mentality. But us as a people, we come with our chest out and, our, and, and, and looking at each other like, I want what he has or why don't I have this or whatever, I'm not willing to work for it. I'll take if I need to or I, I should be in a better place than him because I did this, I did that. You know, whatever path you have in life is your path. It's up to you to control it and find your, your, your purpose and, and, and your passion and then and have a spiritual side to you as well as a, a work ethic side and a, and a family side and it's a lot of different sides to a person in life black or uh, any race you know what I mean and I know one thing for sure just myself moving to California I've never been around as many Spanish people and I know that if black and brown got together we would be it would be yeah. totally totally different that is the one thing that they, they fear that's they fear that the most the most. That's why you have a Donald Trump right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? That just breeds and preaches hate, hate, hate. That's it. And because he know that's the tactic that will keep us divided. He 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 preaches division and, and, and separation. Yeah, because it's funny that Donald Trump is fighting Hispanic today. He is not fighting blacks enough. So we a lot of black are supporting him fighting Hispanic. Now, what will happen after he conquered Hispanic? Right. Who's gonna be the next? Right. He's right. Gonna be black. Yeah. 
Easily. And and it would be easier for him to do that because we're already conquered mentally. 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 They're not conquered mentally. They know they came here to, and they hustle and they drive. That's why I respect them. And I I, I don't say I, I, wouldn't, I look up to them in certain aspects, you know. They look out for one another in their communities. They support one another and, and, and they... they they have a passion and a, and a work ethic and a drive that we all no, don't have. We don't. we don't because we have a, a syndrome or a mentality that we're supposed to. We don't have that. All of us don't. It's in us, but we don't. We not. We we for, forgotten how to tap into it. Our parents had it. Yeah, I mean, we, when God created, He created us the most beautiful people, the most strong. The most strongest, most and definitely. I know is when I study uh, a little bit of. Uh, Hebrew studies. Uh -huh. I kept find out actually how black and African American and the lost tribe, the real Hebrew was black. Right, right. But they don't teach that in school. Not at all. White yeah, Jesus they, was not a white man. Not at all. He was a man of color. Man of color. Hair like wool. <laughs> yeah, so when these people took, uh, took, I mean, when an American, the British, took uh, white people in Israel, they made so when they got there, they falsified all the documentation right. that had blackness in the Bible. Right. I mean, and then the Bible has been rewritten so many times. That's that's somebody else's story now. You know, it's only one original Bible that I know about that I've heard of. But the the Christianity and certain religions were, were created to control black people and, and keep us divided and fearing and fear, keeping us in fear. Of, of if we don't do this, this is going to happen. Or if we do do this, I know God that I know forgives all and 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 forgives all. No sin is bigger than any other sin, and that's what I've my understanding from it. And I grew up in the church, but distance myself now that I'm older and I can understand differently to an extent. But I have my own beliefs, my own religious views, my own religious values, and the things that I live by is just love at, at the end of the day you know and and i understand that god will forgive me for whatever sin that i do but at the end of the day my aura and my vibe is love and and i keep it that simple and i sleep great at night i don't go to bed or i i've but i've had to change and i had to work on myself though you know i, I wasn't always like that and i've did all, all committed all kinds of sins and certain things and knew they were wrong because i i grew up in the church but I'd made a conscious effort myself a few years ago. Just I wanted to work on me and be a better person for myself because I knew I, the things that I went through, I was shown from God and things like that that to prepare me for what I have in for for me, you know. And it's nothing that He won't take you through that you can't handle, and there's nothing that is not in order of how He wants it, you know. So and once you understand that, you can you can you can slow down and and and, and understand that this is how you should move and reform yourself. Exactly. Like yeah, most definitely. You, you can. We're in, we've been mentally enslaved forever and still are. But you can uh, uh, reprogram your mind. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, that's what I had to do myself. And that, I didn't do it myself. I had to slow down and 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 be guided and and start thinking differently. You can think differently because you were programmed to believe that. One thing was right for so long, but then when you understand that it's differently, then you can do your own research now and understand that, okay, I've been lied to for this long. Now here's another side of the story, you know? And and then I, if you believe it or not, it's your own personal belief to grow from or learn from, you know? And that's, and that's where I'm at right now with everything, and it's, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Uh -huh. so my life. But it's difficult because people were programming in a way that if you don't go to school, right. you get good grades, right. you're going to succeed. Right. But people were not, so we had, so you have to work for somebody. Mm -hmm. It's slave mentality because you work and you get a wage. Right. Now, switching that slave mentality, that employee mentality to owner, owner mentality, ownership mentality is difficult. Exactly. It's difficult to ask someone to, to, to work, to, to build an empire where, where he, he could work for himself. And hire people to work for him. Yeah, yes, hey, most definitely. Be the boss. Yes. Yeah, it most definitely. I understand because school, no level of school teaches you to be the boss, pretty yeah. much. They teach you how to work for somebody else. Yes. 
I understand that totally. And and then it of course it puts you in debt for so long, yes. and, and, you know. Unless you're an athlete and you have a scholarship, which is rare that you make it from where you might come from and be one of the millions, you know what I mean, uh, that that make it that way. And still, and there's one in more millions that make it to professionally to be millionaires and multimillionaires, you know. And, and we have the areas that you we uh, I come from or you come from. It's rare that people make it like a LeBron James or I can start of course those names those kind of athletes but we the only hope that we feel like we have is that either selling drugs or yes. make it make it athletically because we have the talent and the mentality to hustle and to make money in all kind of ways and we have the natural gift of athleticism and things like that to be better at any sport we try any sport, any sport any entertainment will dominate business. any any entertainment musically is naturally a, it's yeah it's natural it's natural yeah black natural people were singing because they were mooning right right, right. They were singing we have a natural rhythm we don't need instruments they were banging on whatever they could and making most great music white man sees, sees that he said oh i'm gonna make money off this right 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 you know, people mooning they sing and people make money now. I went in, I was in China last last year. Uh -huh. So when they see me as a black man for, uh, coming from they America, worshiped you almost. Huh? They only think about oh music, NBA, or, or right. Uh, uh, they know right. That's what they, that's what I they understand. Think about black I, I understand. Yeah, yeah. I because understand. we dominate those. That is right. Or or only ones that come over that they see are that. Yes. It's rare that they see a black man that's like yourself that has a career and could travel to China, whether it was business or not. That that is rare that they see that. So of course, yeah, I understand what you're saying totally. They look at you as you have to be an athlete or something yeah, like that. Yeah, asked them many times. Play basketball. Or right. You sing, or right. Do you? I mean, I could see a lot of Chinese girls running around me and asking because I was, I was. They know some people that was so black man. So they were the first time they were asking me if I'm an athlete. Oh. Man. <laughs> All right. So we have that natural gift. Yeah, it's difficult because when I work, you have to have a degree to make money. Right. As long as you have the really the training. He can train someone to do any job. It's going uh, whatever job I go to, I try or I we put our mind to do. We can learn it. Yeah. Anybody to an extent. You know what I mean? If you have the basic. I don't want to say motor skills, but just learning skills. Yes. You can learn how to do any job if you focus on it and put your put your mind to it. Or, and, and not this one, yeah, for 50 second place right here, yeah. But uh, <clears throat> it's frustrating that sometimes that. What kind of job do you do? Um, I moved out here. I, have a, I had a food truck, and um, right now I work at a health food store uh, on where you pick me up at. Lassen's right there on Wish La Brea. And I'm getting so much knowledge from there, learning the, to about food and eating better and yeah. drinking better and, and and what we put in our body is what we get out of our body. Yes. So I'm I'm learning that which I had no clue about. You know what I mean? I'm good right here. I live right here. But um, just learning that is awesome for me, and I'm I'm super passionate about. It and I found a new passion. I have a passion for cooking. That's why I moved out here and I started a food truck. But somebody broke into it, stole a bunch of equipment. So I found this uh this lane with the healthy cooking, a uh, healthy food thing, right? Yeah. So that's that's why I go back to what God shows you, or what, everything happens for a reason, yes. you know. So I know I understand my purpose and and what I'm here for now yes. is to promote my people. We got to eat better. We have to do better, and I can do that with the lane that I'm about to be in with with the food thing, you know yes. that and food. Can, and everybody eats, everybody drinks. When learning to what to put in your body is, is key. So yeah. being able to talk to people and, and, and having a platform that I'm gonna put myself on because I know I'm prepared for it. I'm right here. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's it's what I'm I'm preparing myself for daily. You know yes. what I mean? And I'm in a great place working right now and mentally to do that and knowing that is gonna be my divine purpose. You know, yes. and, and, and that's what I'm passionate about and that's what I plan on doing, you know? And and, and, and that's and, and that's my that, it's awesome man. And and I like what